Hi friends, it's Nico. I did something a little a little crazy for me. Um when I craft, I make a nest around myself. I make a crafting nest. It's an elvish dragonish crafting nest. And that means I literally have myself in the center and all of my supplies are around me and most of the time it's not organized as a normal person would see. I know where things are, I know where it's organized, but it looks messy to a person from the outside, like my husband or my family. They're just like, how in the hell do you survive in that? And I'm just like, I know where everything is, it's perfect, it's all within reaching distance, I'm good. But <coughs> I do try to clean my crafting nest. So right now, not right now, Saturday, because today is Monday, um, Saturday I actually got done sculpting for the day. I was working on Valentine's stuff. The theme is love hearts. Love hearts, by the way, love hearts. Love hearts, by the way. Um, and I started organizing. And not just like a little or deep clean organizing my area and it's pretty messy I'll give you a clip at the end and you can see just how messy the organization is but it's it's quite organized chaos I have to find places to put things so they look nice and neat we'll see if that actually happens but I did get a couple of supplies this week I got uh, two things for organization at the very least and then I got some inspirational supplies and I think I got a couple of beauty products so I'm gonna share that with you at, before we dive literally into the my hoard my crafting hoard so this is what I got at a go to the Dollar Tree um oh okay I went yesterday I got two more of these purple baskets I have one that is holding I got that I got last week it's holding my containers of glaze and it has petroleum jelly and some Elmer's glue that I don't use very often, but it's there. It's a big glue bottle. It's a big boy bottle. Um, what else is there? Oh, and my rubbing alcohols. So it's very useful. These are supposed to be stackable. That's what it says. It says stackable basket. I don't know how stackable it's going to be, but... I got another two to organize stoop. So that also, because we're moving this year, it will be easier, hopefully, to have some stuff at least put in a basket. I gotta, I gotta figure out. I'm, I'm thinking I might put my clay containers in one, just have them in a basket. I don't know, because right now they're stacked down there, and there's a couple behind me. We shall see. Let's get into the good stuff. Um, let's get into the crafty bits first, and then I'll look that up again. So the Dollar Tree does have some, they have Valentine stuff. Mine doesn't have a lot yet, but they have some. This was in their creaty, crafty section. These are just balsa wood hearts. Really, balsa wood is very light wood, if you don't know. Um, but they're able to be decorated and I saw this on another YouTuber's haul. Orion's in my lap. Right there. Um, and as soon as I saw these, I was like, I have an idea for this. I have such an idea. Don't know if it's gonna work, but I want it to work. I want it to work so badly. So I got two of these for my idea. Gosh, the lady that checked me out, I know she was very busy, but she did not take much care of wrapping things which I normally don't really care about, but I got mirrors. So my Halloween book boxes in you. So I would like to attach these together. And for one, I want to do like dragon scales around. And my other mirror is a square. And the other one, I'm not sure. I really want to do dragon scales on both of them, but we shall see. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I might use these for something else, 
completely and just make dragon eyes, like Valentine's themed dragon eye things. I'm not sure. But they have a little ribbon. They're cute. Hopefully they will be useful. If not, I put them away till next year. Next, like I just showed you, I got two mirrors. Those are journals. Wow, you can see everything. Anyway, two mirrors, a square and a circle. I really wish there were heart mirrors, but they're not. They also have little felt pads on the bottom, so I could make that into like a gazing pool for creatures. I just, I don't know. My initial thought was for the balsa wood hearts. I do have to go to Michael's eventually, sometime this month. They may have heart mirrors, but I, I, I just don't know. It's just an idea. It was something I got. Next, I got the full set. I hope it's the full set because there were only three pieces. It's a little desk set. It is a business card holder. How pretty is that? I'm glad the sticker's on the back so you can see the detail. It's just a really pretty um, business card holder. A little like, I wanna say it's for paper clips. I don't, I don't know, but it's really freaking stupidly cute. And then we have a pencil holder. I want to decorate this. I want to put dragons like peeking out and playing with these. And I want to make my own set, but I also have two more full sets of these. Um, so I can offer two up for adoption when I figure out exactly what I want to do with them. So I got three sets of these, three sets of three. Just, I, I had, I've seen them, but I never really looked at them, so I couldn't pass them up when I actually saw there was a full set. Because I've seen the little business card holders, but eh. I got goodie bags for Valentine's for next month, since Valentine's things are coming out. Um, these are really cute. It's a little spoiler. My, my thank you charms next month are going to be, theoretically, heart donuts. And these are little donuts with like some have hearts on them cut out. They're really cute. It just it just so happens to go with the theme I want to do for Valentine's Day this year. For the thank you charms for the month and the Patreon goodies. I'm gonna put these carefully <coughs> back in here. I'll put you down there. And then up again. <coughs> Excuse me. I have Patreon and thank you goodies for next month. I know just from experience, if I don't get them right away, they sell out. They sell out so fast and they're not normally restocked. So we're just going on with my stationary love. I have pencils in four different styles. I got another set of 12 pencils in four different styles. They're really cute. These are the conversation hearts. They're just little hearts that says love, and these are just red shimmer. These ones are the red shimmer. These have the the mid. Oh gosh, the next one are like. What is this? What does it say? Oh my god, that's stupid. It has. It's so cute. This has little toads on it, like frog princes, and it says you're my totally. It's so dumb and cute. This has XOXO, and that one is just hearts. Also, I got Valentine's pins. These are so adorable. These are like the more um, lighthearted ones. I guess they're all pretty lighthearted, but the more colorful ones, not just pink. And then we got the pink Valentine's y ones. They're so cute. I'm pretty sure these pins are going to be in every Elf Lane's, everyone that has an adoption. I will give this to them for their Valentine's. It's just so stinking cute. I love them. Also, I got more mini pens. I couldn't resist. Holy crap, holy. These are adorable and there's four different designs again. There's hearts. XOXO, another heart, and then blue hearts. Oh, they're just so, they're just so stinking cute. Okay. 
and I got these, I got these, I'm very happy I have not shown them to you yet, um, I have several heart cookie cutters, but most of them are a severe heart, they're not, do I, oh, I have one right behind me, this is actually very small, but it's very severe, it's very long, long, it's a very long heart, it's not a cute, happy, chubby love heart. These are cute, happy, chubby love hearts, and there are big ones and t uh, little ones. It's a perfect little size, but this is going to be so cute. I love it. I know I'm definitely going to use two of these sizes this year, and then I have all the sizes for clay. It's for clay. It's not for cookies. It is just for me to cut out cute, chubby love hearts in clay. Just, ugh, ugh, stupid, stupid cute. And then I could not resist these. It goes with the scarf I got last week. They're heart donuts. They're quite literally heart donuts. I got these for me in just, just, I, I like, I like socks. But this going with my, with next month's thank you charm theme is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And last but not least, there are some, um, beauty body items. Uh, this is a brand that I have known for years. It's, uh, Borello. Bor Bolero. That's how you say it. I didn't know how to say it when I was younger. It's Bolero. It's a sweet cranberry or sweet orange and cranberry. Cranberry and sweet orange. This is the body lotion. There. It smells so good. I just got a very miniature bath set for me. This is the bath soak. It is bath salts. And then I got, I couldn't resist, I should have resisted, but I got a bath fizzer. It's all the same scent. I already have the um, body scrub that has, it has little coffee grounds in it, but it's also the cranberry and sweet orange. I already have that. But I wanted to get like a beauty routine set. And this is the uh, cranberry and sweet orange body cream. There's several other things. There's makeup remover. Um, there's body oil. There are a couple of there. There are several things. It's like a 12 piece complete line, and there are different scents. This is my favorite scent. I do like the coconut scent that they have, but the cranberry and sweet orange right now for the end of winter, beginning of spring is perfect, personally. So I just got. I got the bits that I would use normally, like this is for after I shave my legs or whenever I get around to doing that. The bath soak is obviously, like the bath salts just for baths and soaking time. This I will keep next to my bed so I can put it in the back of my hand and if I need to moisturize my face a little bit. And then the shower scrub, obviously, you know, scrub yourself in the shower. But that is what I got supply wise I think I did pretty good with supplies not terrible I got Valentine's almost taken care of and it's only the second week of January so very happy with that I got some crafty bits in here and then you know like the pair of socks I needed those socks definitely needed those socks all right that is pretty much what I have for the moment I don't know if I'm doing an adoption on Friday. I just don't know. I would like to, theoretically, but I have no idea right now. It's only Tuesday. I'll know by the end of tonight, tomorrow. All right, I'm going to show you part of my terrible hoard. And granted, some of it is just little bags of garbage, like just little uh, plastic bags from the shop that I put garbage in or put, uh, I've broken down some cardboard boxes. So it's like three bags of garbage, but it's just a little shopping bag and it's mostly paper products. Um, oh, this is so embarrassing, but whatever. I'm actually, I'm cleaning it. I'll probably be cleaning it during live chat tonight with you guys. So let me just give you a quick overview. Enjoy and don't be scared. This is, this is what true genius looks looks like right yeah the messier you are the more artistic you are something like that I love you guys bye Mwah. it's 
Nessie. That's my breakfast. Don't be scared. I haven't eaten yet. That is just a bag of garbage and so are those. That is a bag literally full of makeup that I got brand new this year over, or last year over the course of the entire year. And that is pretty much just an empty bag. Glitter. Plate to collect the glitter. Just some cups I kept sculpture pieces in. Do I even know what's in the... Oh, those are my paint. That's nail polish on top in that black container, but those are just three tiers of paint. Next to it, the blue lid is glitter. That's cookie cutters right there. Those are the chibis that have been adopted. And that's my tablet. And that is um, polymer clay sprinkles, just some empty containers now. Very embarrassing. That's my haul I just got. Snacks. Just has to be organized. That's the container from last week. Some fluff on top. Those. That is just lids and containers I need to wash now that I had mixed paint in. Um, that is my white light box. Some more containers that just has paper in. It was holding glass. Yep, that is my mess pretty much. Oh, the table. Oh, that looks worse than it is. It's mainly because I'm just plopping things on top to get them out of the way. Like, those are all empty. Um, that's full of jingle bells. That is a new piece I'm working on. It's there safely. Those are just containers of paintbrushes, clay tools, and, like, rollers and stuff. That is empty. That box is empty. That blue teal container is empty. That is my clip I usually videotape on. Christmas present I misplaced for one of my nieces. And that is just pretty much emptiness that just needs to get organized. And there goes Orion. But yeah, that is, that is my craft area. I literally craft around myself. That is where I keep my papers. Can you see? Not really. That's okay. But, yep, I craft around myself like that. And now it is getting totally deep cleaned. <coughs> totally, completely more organized. Those three white container, the white lidded containers, that's all nail polish from Turtle Tootsies. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's getting completely organized. And that is what I'm working on. That is what I'll be working on in live chat. This is scary. It is embarrassing, but it is just the way I craft.